Alright, today we're going to be replacing the battery in an alarm system. This here is a uh, DSC brand model PC2550. Uh, and what we've got is a backup battery in there and it has uh, expired and it's making a chirping noise now. So we need to replace this backup battery so the alarm system is still going to work when the power goes out. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the cabinet to the alarm system, the PC2550. And one thing to mention in here is actually sometimes installers will put a different board in there, a different model uh, in, the, in the cabinet. So actually when I look at mine, I can see actually the model is going to be something different. It's a PC1832, but most of the DSC alarm systems use the same kind of battery. And that's this uh, lead acid 12 volt, uh, anywhere from 7 to 9 amp hour um, battery. So what we're going to do to take this out today, uh, it's really simple. You actually don't really need any tools to speak of. Uh, we're going to start off by disconnecting the Molex connector here. This is a two-pin Molex connector. Make sure the power's off, by the way. And uh, really on mine, yours may be clipped in, but mine really, the battery's just sitting here inside the cabinet. So I'm going to take this one out. We're going to go take a look at it here. What we've got is this 12-volt battery. It's uh, recyclable, I guess. And up on the top here, it's got two little blade-style connectors. I have uh, some tape over mine. I'm going to show you what they look like. Uh, you can actually use those little blade blade type connectors or solder it right on. So I went ahead and soldered mine right on. Uh, and what we what we do here is we're going to use the wire that came with your old battery because the battery comes just as you see it here without any wires just with those blade uh, spade type connectors. So we're going to go ahead uh, and take those off. I'm not going to show that because I've already soldered mine on. Uh, and we're going to take that harness off with the Molex connector here and put that onto your new battery. So once we do that, let's say this is the new battery now, We've got those on there, like I said, either with the spade connectors or soldered right on and taped over with electrical tape. Got our Molex connector. We're just going to take this guy, put him right back up in the cabinet. Nice and solid there. We're going to take the Molex connector, make sure it's the right side up, plug it on in, and we're done. That's it. So this was really easy. We got the battery here from ReplaceUPSBattery.com. Uh, I guess the brand is National Battery, uh, and we got it there to replace uh, our alarm battery. Once we turn the power back on, we'll close the cabinet up, and we'll be ready to go. Easy as pie.